Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, YouTube's first and only two-way interactive business building channel where you get to hone your skills on how to get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. If you're new to the program, here's how it works. We're going to show you an ad or ads and give you a chance to critique it in your own mind. Take a look at it. You determine whether it's good, bad, or ugly from a marketing perspective. Does it get the prospect to buy or at least take the next step in the buying process? After you've had a chance to determine what you think, I will tell you what I, the marketing master, think of the same ad and tell you why I think what I think. With that in mind, today's a special treat because we actually have two print ads, magazine ads, that we're going to take a look at today from similar industries, but radically different ads indeed. The first one comes from a magazine called Website Magazine. The folks who read this magazine are obviously involved in websites for business, trying to make those websites more effective in selling their products and services. The second ad comes from Response Magazine. These folks are the as seen on TV people and are also involved in other kinds of direct response as well. So let's take a look at the two ads that we are considering in these publications. The first one is called the Melissa Data Partner Program. Is this ad good, bad, or ugly? Feel free to pause the video and examine it carefully. Check out the headline. Check out all the body copy. Does the illustration advance the sales message? Is the layout good? And what do you think of the offer? Then compare and contrast that ad from Website Magazine with this ad in Response Magazine. It says 11 rules for DRTV success and it shows you on the right hand side of the ad the 11 rules. The left hand side shows the company's explanation for what those rules are. Is this layout effective? Is the headline compelling? Do you want to read the 11 rules? And what about the call to action? Go ahead, pause the video and consider this ad. Then consider which of the two ads you think is more effective and would generate more responses. Okay, we're back and now you get to see what the marketing master himself thinks about these two ads. Let's start with the website magazine ad. What do we notice about this ad? Melissa Data Partner Program is the headline. Well, is that really a headline? No, it just says what it is. Creating a blueprint for your success. All of the type is reverse type, sans serif, some of it bolded, all hard to read. The photograph does virtually nothing to advance the message in any way, shape, or form. The icons over here give you some idea of the kinds of services the company could provide for you. But all in all, this ad is beyond bad, all the way to ugly. By contrast, let's take a look at the ad in Response Magazine. 11 Rules for DRTV Success. That is a benefit-oriented, curiosity headline. DRTV success is self-interest benefit. 11 rules. Hey, if I want success in direct response TV, I ought to know these 11 rules. I wonder if I know any of them. I wonder if I know all of them. I wonder if I even know some of them, but the only way to find out is to actually read them. So the headline will draw people into the copy. Notice there's no illustration whatsoever except for the company's logo in the bottom left hand corner, but there is a call to action, an implied one. It does lack a specific offer, but overall I would call this effort good. How did that stack up with your 
evaluation of these two ads. That's the kind of thing we get when we work together to build our skills in how to get more customers who will pay you more money more often. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you comment below, share and tell your friends all about it, and together we'll build our skills to make more money with good, bad, and ugly ads.